Hello out there, all you story timers! Today we'll be reading Tim Tim and the Sickly Monster by Julie Fox, a story about a sickly monster who is rather unwell and follows Tim Tim around everywhere he goes. That is, until the school nurse comes up with a brilliant solution to help. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head your nose and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. One day, Tim Tim went to school, just like he'd done all the other days before that one. Only that day, Tim Tim wasn't alone. He had a monster with him that had woken up in the same bed as Tim Tim in the morning, brushed its teeth right next to Tim Tim in the bathroom, had its breakfast with Tim Tim at the kitchen table, and followed Tim Tim onto the school bus all the way to school. and into the classroom. Tim Tim wasn't happy. The monster was quite poorly. Mr. Mole, the Dig Dig Long Tunnels underground teacher, was the first one to notice that Tim Tim wasn't quite himself. What's wrong, Tim Tim? he asked, looking at Tim Tim's monster. Are you not well? No, I think I'm perfectly fine, said Tim Tim. It's the monster that's poorly. It says that its legs are hurting, and it has to walk very slowly, and sometimes it can't walk at all, and I have to carry it around. Well, Tim Tim, do you think you can do the dig digging long tunnels today? I think I can, Mr. Mole, said Tim Tim. And so, Tim Tim stuffed the sickly monster into his brightly coloured backpack and started dig-digging long tunnels with Mr. Mole and all the other pupils. Tim Tim was very, very tired as he was digging the tunnel, and the sickly monster complained the whole time, sticking its head out of Tim Tim's backpack. But Tim Tim just kept digging and digging and digging, until at the end of the long lesson, He'd had enough of tunnels. And it was time to go to the next class. Mrs. Duck, the dive under the water and catch as much fish as you can teacher, also noticed that Tim Tim wasn't quite himself that day. Are you feeling poorly, Tim Tim? she asked. I'm perfectly fine, said Tim Tim. It's the monster that's poorly. It says that it feels dizzy and sickish. It's a sickly monster, all right. Well, Tim Tim, can you dive under the water and catch some fish today? I think I can, Mrs. Duck, said Tim Tim. So Tim Tim put the sickly monster on the grass next to the lake and jumped into the water with the rest of the pupils. Tim Tim dived many, many, many times and caught lots of beautiful fish and counted lots of pebbles on the bottom of the lake. In the meantime, the poorly monster was enjoying its nap on the grassy lake shore. And so it was time for the next class. Mrs. Kangaroo, the jump as high as you can teacher, looked at Tim Tim and frowned. Are you feeling well enough to jump with the rest of the class? she asked. Oh yes, Mrs. Kangaroo, Tim Tim assured her. As long as his sickly monster was happy to hang off the branch of the oak tree together with Tim Tim's backpack and Tim Tim's coat, he would be quite happy to jump with the rest of the class, he told her. And so he did, and the sickly monster didn't mind hanging off the tree branch at all, quite the opposite. In fact, it loved all the swaying and enjoyed the nice view 
from up in the tree. And so it was time for the next class. Mr. Baboon, the climb the trees and jump from branch to branch teacher, had a clever idea. Why don't I put your sickly monster on my back while you go and climb trees with the other boys and girls, he said. Tim Tim was very happy to give the sickly monster to Mr. Baboon, and so Tim Tim climbed one branch after another and loved it. Climbing trees was his favourite lesson of all. He loved climbing all the way to the top of the tree and looking far in the distance, hoping to get a glimpse of his pet cat Stephanie, who would sit on the roof of Tim Tim's house. Sometimes, if Tim Tim was lucky, Stephanie would see Tim Tim and wave back at him with her furry paw. Then Tim Tim would know that Stephanie missed him and couldn't wait for him to come back home from school. So Tim Tim climbed trees all the way up and down, up and down, and waved at Stephanie all lesson long, while Mr. Baboon took care of the sickly monster. And so it was time for the next class. Mrs. Cockatoo, the language teacher, asked Tim Tim to recite his favourite poem while she kept the sickly monster busy with some colouring in the back of the classroom. Tim Tim recited all his favourite poems, all five of them, one after the other, and had a great time listening to the other pupils reciting their favourite poems as well. And in the meantime, the sickly monster used up all the paints to make a monstery, blotchy masterpiece and coloured his desk as well, much to the annoyance of Mrs. Cockatoo. And then the lessons were over, and it was time to go back home. The sickly monster was quite excited to be going back home with Tim Tim, but Tim Tim was not very happy to take the sickly monster home, because it made Tim Tim feel tired and unhappy. The sickly monster was quite heavy, so every time Tim Tim held it in his arms or put it in his backpack, it made his back ache and his legs hurt, so it was much more difficult for Tim Tim to run around and have fun. The sickly monster also whined and complained all the time, which was really beginning to annoy Tim Tim. The school's nurse, Mrs. Hippo, decided to help. Tim Tim, let me take your sickly monster to a special ward full of all sorts of other sickly monsters, she said. It will enjoy spending time with the other sickly monsters, as they seem to be a whiny bunch. She explained that then Tim Tim would be free to run around and do all the wonderful things he used to do before the sickly monster came for a visit. Tim Tim was super happy to part with the sickly monster. He handed it to Mrs. Hippo, waved it goodbye, and ran off with his colourful backpack. Now so much lighter, without the sickly monster weighing it down. Tim Tim didn't feel tired at all, nor did his legs hurt or his backache from carrying the heavy load. He ran back home as fast as he could, and gave Stephanie, who had just woken up from a nap, a great big hug. Tim Tim was very, very happy to be home and monster free. Oh, I just hate sickly monsters. They just latch on and never want to leave. I suppose the trick is to keep warm and stay healthy. Sickly monsters tend to stay away then. Until next time, my young storytimers, this is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello everyone, Mr. Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. 
and tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow.